Have you ever felt like you're too nice for your own good? It's a common predicament, often leading to a sense of self-neglect and vulnerability to exploitation. Being too nice can sometimes mean you're prioritizing others to the point where you forget about your own needs. Stay tuned as we delve into the 15 signs that you might be too nice for your own good. The first sign is you often find yourself prioritizing others' needs above your own. You're the one who's always there for others, often at the expense of your own well-being. You're the one who makes sacrifices, who puts others first no matter what. The second sign is difficulty saying no. You might find yourself agreeing to do things you don't want to simply because you fear the disappointment or disapproval that may come with a no. Thirdly, you tend to avoid confrontation. You'd rather maintain peace than express your discomfort or disagreement. This often leads to suppressing your feelings or opinions, doesn't it? The fourth sign is excessive apologizing. You find yourself saying sorry far too often, even when it's not your fault, don't you? And the fifth sign is being a people pleaser. You're always trying to make others happy, often at the cost of your own happiness. If you're nodding your head to these signs, don't fret, we have 10 more to go. Sign number six, you often struggle with setting boundaries. This can cause you to overextend yourself, leaving little time for your own needs and desires. Moving on to sign seven, you might feel a pang of guilt whenever you prioritize yourself. This could be a sign that you're too focused on pleasing others. The eighth sign is having difficulty accepting compliments. If you find yourself downplaying praise or feeling uncomfortable when complimented, it's time to reassess. The ninth sign is a constant worry about what others think of you. This can lead to a lot of unnecessary stress and self-doubt. Lastly, sign number 10 is often feeling overlooked or undervalued. If you regularly feel like your efforts aren't recognized, it's a clear indication that you might be too nice for your own good. Recognizing these signs in yourself is the first step towards finding a healthier balance. The eleventh sign is you often feel exhausted from trying to keep everyone happy. This exhaustion is a telltale symptom of the high emotional cost of constant people-pleasing. It's like being a candle, burning at both ends to light up others' lives, but gradually consuming itself in the process. Moving on to sign 12, you're always the one making compromises. When disagreements or conflicts arise, you're the first to back down. Even if it means going against your own wishes or values, it's like being a chameleon, constantly changing your colors not for survival, but to avoid stirring the pot. Sign 13 is not voicing your own needs. You've become so accustomed to prioritizing others that your own desires and needs have taken a back seat. It's like being a silent movie, with the volume turned down so low that no one can hear your voice. Next, sign 14, you feel uncomfortable when you receive. You're so used to giving that when the tables are turned, it feels alien, almost as if you're taking something that doesn't belong to you. It's like being a one-way street, always accommodating traffic but never allowing any vehicle to travel in the opposite direction. Finally, sign 15, you start feeling resentful. Despite your best efforts to keep the peace, a small part of you begins to harbor resentment for always being the giver, the pacifier, the nice one. It's like being a pressure cooker, silently building up steam until it's ready to whistle. If you've resonated with many of these signs, it might be time to reassess how your kindness affects your well-being. Finding a balance between kindness towards others and self-respect is crucial. Recognizing the signs we've discussed is an essential first step. It's all about finding a healthy balance, knowing when to say no, setting boundaries, and not letting your kindness be your weakness. Remember, self-care isn't selfish. It's about preserving your well-being. Being assertive doesn't mean being rude. It's about expressing your needs and rights. And kindness, it's a virtue to be shared, but with discernment. If you found this video insightful, do subscribe to our channel for more content that helps you navigate life's complexities.